Once, once the gang proliferation manifested itself as a whole across the country, anything that had more than 10 people in it, subconsciously it took on a gang aura. And we've never claimed to be that, even though within us, we've had several cliques of individuals that have done certain things in the name of the law, which are not savory. You know what I mean? Um, but basically, like the whole United States took on a, if it's more than 10 people gathered, um, it's nefarious. So that, that, that mentality has been allowed to permeate for the last 20 years, right? At least. So, like in Trenton, they used to pass this leaflet out. And a leaflet would say, uh, this is going like 30 years ago. Um, is your child a five percenter? These are clues. And one of the clues was they wear a kufi on their head. The other clue was I mean, pretty obvious. They, wear, <laughs> they wear glasses with no lenses in them. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> <that> was... <laughs> the other clue oh, was man. They, they wear sneakers with no shoestrings in them. Ah, oh, man, he ah, oh, man. And so on and so forth. Just all little stupid stuff. And, um, you know, they were literally passing these things around. So then when the real gangs came, right, they never separated us from that. So, you know, even in the prison system in New Jersey, the gang unit is Northern State. That's in North. And people with, you know, 5% of you, a 5%er, they send you to the Northern State. So now you got the guards in there with the real gang members. The guards have to take on a gang mentality for survival now. Right. You understand? So a lot of what's influenced in the streets, pardon me, is, is, is through jail. So it became like a, a thing. You know what I mean? Even though we're not about that. You know, actually a couple weeks ago, to last week I was watching Dumar's speech. We are not a gang. When he did that presentation in the Asbury Park area. You know, um, so that's the, that's the main thing that, that we're still working against. Um, but we push intelligence. In the past 15 years, I would say, it's cooler to be dumb. And remember, our era wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. Even the most savages of the 85 back then, it was kind of like, they would be like scholars right now. Mm -hmm. Y'all always say that. NWA was dropping signs. If you, if you, they was the ignorant group back then. But if they was out right now, They'd be like Rock Kim or something. <laughs> so I think that's that's our we have to flip that inside out, the quote freedom. Flip flip that inside out. And like you said, it really starts with those. But you know freedom. what I think you know what I think is the difference though? At least from the New York standpoint, right? You know, it's it's definitely different in the other, you know, definitely in Chicago and LA. I can't speak for everywhere, right? But See, in New York, we've we've had gang errors crash before. What seems to be different this time is that they have corporate sponsorship and backing. Exactly. Ooh. You understand know what I'm saying? That's kind of keeping them around. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The prisoner is money. Like when you block somebody yeah. up, you are making money. It's not just that, but it's that you can get paid like right now. You know, I, I don't know, but you know, there was a couple of years in there that the only way to become a star in hip hop was to be in a game. Mm. Like that's what influenced Six Nine. Like he's doing the same music, got in a game, became the number one guy. Right, right. I agree with that. So this type of corporate sponsorship, you know what I'm saying, is you know anything that is money in it. You know what I'm saying. You're going to keep getting people that's in whatever situation that you know they'll be so desperate that 
you know what I'm saying, you go get in the gang and you're not even there. You know, you risking your life or something. You know what I mean? Uh, but I, I think that's kind of what's sustaining it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if 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 crack never would have came out, would it have sustained the Crips and Bloods? You know what I'm saying? Through the 80s and 90s? You know what I'm saying? You know, like in New York, that's kind of what happened. And, uh, you know, the, the the people that's in the gang, they end up, like the people that's in them gangs in the 70s, they all got on drugs. They started, They I don't know when they started doing dope. Mm. You know, when I saw them, they was already doing that. But as soon as crack came in, they started smoking crack. Mm. And so nobody, you know, that shit just wasn't cool. Just in the way they dressed and everything, it was like, dude, listen, we, you know what I'm saying? We not into that. You know what I'm saying? You know, same thing, you had a little minor, you know, wasn't a whole bunch of them, but you had a couple gangs, deceptions and all that. But I'm saying, you know, with, with whatever it is, gangs hit a wall. Whether it's the members age out, you know what I'm saying? Like the members just get it too old and shit to be, you know, hanging around doing that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? People get jobs, they had their kids, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, right now, it's corporate sponsorship, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, right now, we on YouTube. Some of the, some of the, the biggest videos that, that that's on here is, is about, you know, gang stuff, you know what I mean? Or like you said, yeah, some of the advertising is, you know, people doing rap music where they, you know, uh, kind of promoting their gang. You know, you, you can promote your gang in, in, on commercials and stuff, man. That that wasn't impossible. That, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. That wasn't possible. You know, like, you can, you know, you can, you can make it known, like, it's dudes that, I mean, see, I'm not from LA, I'm not from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how this shit works, but I'm just saying, like, when I look at it on the news, right, and I see people coming out, and you saying, "Yo, I'm in this gang," and then it's not time to be saying, "I'm in this gang." They be saying, "I'm a shooter in this gang. I'm the leader of this gang. I'm the founder of this gang." Hey, wait a minute. Is it this gang under federal indictment right now? Like, why would you be saying some shit like that? But if it's corporate America, they let it fly now somehow. You know what I'm saying? And you know power too. I'm not hating on them. I'm just saying that that's what I see. I mean, we got to stop saying we ain't hating because, first of all, hate is, is lack of understanding. But if you don't like something, you don't like it, man. I don't care who said it. You know what I mean? You ain't hating, but there's no time to put smoke on the truth anymore. I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with saying that, man. We got to get out of that. And I'm not coming down on you per se, but I'm just saying. I don't like it. We have a right to say that. You know what I mean? You know, my point of view is, you know, if, if you're getting that off, you know what I'm saying? I'm not... Uh, you know, I'm not here to, you know, just pick a, whatever rapper and say, look, let's cancel your career. You know, if, if you're getting that off. Well, I'm not then, even talking about rappers. I'm talking about the sponsorship, the, the people right. who proliferate, yeah. who proliferate the madness. I mean, God, I don't even go to Philly no more, God. It's 40 minutes away. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's like hell there, God. If Mega did this. Mega did this.